this is a quick demo and um, an introduction on how you can use this template so what this template does is that it will go to a list of groups which you can enter here in the list command and you replace these lines but you keep the same structure so the first word in a line would be your key the keyword you want to search inside that group and then there is a delimiter which is a column and then after the column there is the url of the group and then you go like this and you can do 100 groups a thousand groups and i and it will iterate through all of them so it will uh, then go to the group and what it will do is that i will disable the selector and mimic it so it will click on here it will type that keyword it will wait for the results to appear and then there is a trick here uh, facebook is very tricky so this uh, automation will require some maintenance and some close attention because um, once you have the results after the search of that keyword in that group you can see that um, facebook doesn't generate the url of every post so that we can refer to it and the way to generate it is that we have to hover over the over the date and only when we hover over the date it will show the url so here i hover and i don't know if you saw here now it captured the url and then if i go to the next one and i hover over the date then i get the url i do it a third time i hover over the date i get the url so what this automation does is that it will go here and it will hover i will reactivate and this is where it will hover over what we want you see here it will hover over the four five element that it has found uh, and then after it finish hovering it will do like a loop so we hover and we wait three seconds here we hover and we wait three seconds on every element to generate the url so that facebook can display it and then we extract the results and when it's done the list will go to the second group search for the keyword and do the same so let's give it a try here and i'm going to launch it Okay, so it goes to the group, it's going to search, it's going to click that search icon. Now it's going to type the first keyword of the first line, that's Artila. And now we wait that it loads, and we, we created the scroll down, which only scrolls once, but you can scroll unlimited, you can scroll as many results as you want, just it will be longer. But it, and now you see it's starting to hover over the date. It's going to the next second date, it's going to the third date, and if I look at the results, it's capturing the results. Not yet. It will finish hovering, and once it finishes hovering on all of them, it will capture the results. Okay, it's still hovering. It looks like now it's hovered, and now it's capturing all those results with the URLs that have been displayed by uh, Facebook. And now it goes to the second group, which is the Kenmu group. And then it's going to search the same keyword for our example. There you go. It's going to pull the keyword from the second line. There it is. And then it search. It's going to wait a little bit and then it will start to hover over the dates as well. And it's starting. Okay, there, depending on the group and the keyword you, you search for, it could, there could be dozens or hundreds of results. So you have to really plan how many you want. And if you, don't want any re, uh, if you only want the first or the latest five or six, then you just remove the scroll and you just get whatever displays after the search. Uh, so you can see here there is quite a number. And I think now we went through all of them and it's getting the results of Kenmu. And now the automation is finished. So I'll go and look at the results. And here, if I preview, you see I get, we did a few things so that you can follow up on it. You get the URL of the post, who the post owner, what keyword on which group was searched. And then like this for Artila group. And then here you will find the Kenmu group results. That's software lifetime, that's Kenmu. And that's the URL of every post from every uh, user. 
So you can get more or less depending on what you want. And we will do another video on explaining on how we built it. But this is just the video on how you can use it. Thank you.